So in the last lesson, we added this CSS styling, but you probably don't know what this all means. So let's go through it. So here we defined a class called profbox, and it's applied to this div, okay? So now what we can do is inside this CSS file that we've linked with this index.html, we can say, okay, for this profbox, for all the elements with this profbox class, let's apply these styles. So in CSS, if it's a class, you say, okay, dot profbox. So this dot means that it's a class, right? So it's a class called profbox. It's a class called profbox. And then we need these uh, brackets. And inside these brackets, we can define the CSS styles. So we can say that the width is 400 pixels, the height is 400 pixels, and the background is RGB 8000.4. So this is basically uh, uh, zero is, uh, so it's basically RGB. So there's zero red, zero green, zero blue, and then A is just transparency, so it's 0 0.4. So we can add some more CSS. So what we can do is, if we look at this, we can notice that the space in between here and here is very minimal. We want some more, uh, let's say like padding around this text. So actually what we can do is we can say padding and we can say 40 pixels, okay? We go back to Chrome, we refresh the page, and now we have padding. So padding is the area inside Actually, I can show you by inspecting. Okay, so if I click on this and hover over it, this green part is the padding, okay? This green part is 40 pixels. So there's 40 pixels here, 40 pixels here, 40 pixels here, and then 40 pixels on the bottom, okay? So it basically wraps uh, around this, uh, the elements inside, and it gives us some padding like this, okay? Cool. So now we got some nice padding. What else do we need? Well, actually, let's move on to the next thing. Well, what would be nice is to make this text uh, white. So what we can do is we can say color white, save it, and boom, we have white text. Okay, this is awesome. So the next step is to add a nice background image.